Hello everyone, I'm Christy. Welcome back to Hydro. I am very excited for you to be joining me today for a 10 minute Core Burn Express Pilates class. Like it is in the name, this is a core workout and it is gonna be a tough one because it's nice and efficient. So if you only have 10 minutes, this is a great one for you. We are in front of Loch Dan, I, I tried hard, <laughs> in County Wicklow in Ireland. And it is very, very beautiful. We have some sun coming in, which I am very grateful for. And let's get started. So you can take off your shoes, roll out your mat, and let's do it. Like I said, this workout is not necessarily easy, but we're gonna push through together. You're gonna meet me in a high plank. So wrists underneath your shoulders. Toes long behind you. You can always lower onto the knees or forearms. Hold it here. Your feet will be hip distance parallel. I want you to push the mat away. Almost find a little bit of space between the shoulder blades and increase the space by almost doming that back. Scoop the belly in here. We're gonna hold here for three, for two, nice, for one. All right, heels are gonna come together. So maybe walk those feet a little closer. Heels together, toes apart. Knees bend, hips come high. Stretch it all the way forward. So almost imagine like you're a little frog. You're gonna bend those knees, but come high, and stretch it all the way long. So the game plan for this class, about five minutes of different plank variations. I know it seems long, it's not that bad, I promise. We will take breaks, and then we're gonna build towards our teaser at the end of class, all right? Two more here. I know the feeling, if you're short on time, hard to find time to work out in our busy schedules. Let's go one more. So hopefully this workout makes you feel like you got a lot done and accomplished. All right, let's hold three, two, one. Drop onto your knees, come onto forearms. All right, so options here. You can have your arms parallel or go fist into palm. Either way, lift those feet back up. All right, from here, all you're gonna do is tip your hips side to side. Shoulders still. Rotation is coming from the bottom half of your body. Scoop that belly in. Nice, strong upper back. Good, guys. Four more. Good, for three, for two, and one. Lower those knees, sit back. Take a second, child's pose. We're gonna come back into that forearm plank. One last thing in that forearm plank, I promise. Slide forwards. So start on your knees here. Scoop the belly in. Lift one knee, lift the other knee, place one knee down, and then place the other knee down, alternating every time. Nice job, guys. Lift that belly in. Nice, you got it. What I love about Pilates is, really can't be done anywhere. You don't need to do it for an hour to see and feel the results. Good, you got it. Two more. Two, sometimes 10 minutes is enough. All right, one more. Hold it up, stay three, two, one, knees down. Sit back, in a child's pose, rest those arms. All right, meet me on your right forearm. You're gonna find a side plank, so options. You can either keep your right knee down or straighten it long. Either way, you're gonna lift up. Top arm is gonna rotate under, stretch it to the sky. Nice. So our last little plank series here is gonna end with side planks on either side with this rotation through that upper body. Nice job, guys. Two more, I know these are tough. It's kind of hard to balance, right? So if you're wobbling, just place that knee down, no biggie. One more, all the way up, hold, stay three. Nice job, maybe you lift a leg if you want an added challenge in, two. One, lower down. All right, swing around, other side. What I like to say here is as we're doing these classes, lift those hips up, twist it under, lift it up. You wanna make those transitions really snappy and quick, right? That's how you get more out of your workout. Take away some of that rest time. Nice. Good, you got it. For me, I love to do these types of workouts when I am traveling and on the go. But you know, we are a lot here at Hydro. <laughs> so this is the perfect thing to do in the morning or after a day when you're like, you know, I gotta move, but I don't have a lot of time. Nice, let's go two more here for two. One more, last one. All right, lower all the way down, rest for a second. All right, I'm gonna have you meet me on your bottom. Legs long in front of you, hands behind you. One last version, all right? This is your reverse plank. So I'm gonna give you the option to have both feet flat here, and you can lift your bottom from there, or you straighten your legs. Either way, lift your hips up, hold it there. Nice, if you wanted to add in some extra challenge, one knee in, then the other. 
Upper body is still. I know these are hard. You're gonna feel a little shake in that upper body. Nice, scoop that belly in. You have four more here. Push that mat away. Three, two more here, two. Last one. Lower it all the way down. You're actually gonna stay on your forearms. Nice, easy transition. Knees into the chest. All right, from here, I'm gonna have you push up. All right, so you're balancing on your tailbone. Forearms are gonna reach down as you stretch your toes out and then come right back up. So like I said, we're moving into that portion of class. We're building into your teaser, which is a fun exercise, right? Some days it's easier than others, honestly. Want you to think about your limbs, your legs and your arms only moving because of your center. And not only are they moving, they're stretching away from one another, like you're getting longer in both directions. One more, hold it out there, stay. You're gonna beat the heels. Nice and quick, open close, nice. Three, two, one, lower and rest. All right, come up to a full seat here. Hands are gonna come behind the thighs. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. Maybe roll those shoulders out a few times. Lift the tips of the ears to the ceiling, lengthen the tailbone, start to roll back. Scoop the belly in, lift all the way up. One more time like that, just to get everything nice and open. Nice. Go as far as you can, hold, release the arms, little pulse, little lift. Right after this, we're not coming back up, we're gonna go straight down, all right? Three more, and you scoop that belly in for two. Keep those feet planted, I know they wanna fly up, all right? One more, lie down, arms long behind you, inhale the air. Exhale, curl your shoulder blades up. Use your hands if you need to. Lift to your waistline, arms long, little pulse. Scoop that belly in. You have three, two, one, curl it up. Nice, one more time, all right? Arms can always hold on at any point. Lift tall, with control, roll back. Arms release, little pulse down and up. Normally, I can't get this far. I'm a little tight after traveling for a long period of time, but uh, our producer, Steph, and Owen, and Pete, and I went took a yoga class last night, so I'm feeling a little more open. Roll all the way down, so it's totally okay if you can't come all the way back as far as me, all right? Arms high. Curl shoulders up, curl a little higher. A little pulse up and down. Three, two, curl it up. Rest, all right. Let's go into our teaser from the top. Arms long, sit up tall. We're not gonna go quite as far, just to about your sacrum, which isn't quite at your low back. Hold it there, lift one toe up. You can always hold on if you need to. Lift the other up, hold. One leg reaches long, bend it in. Then the other, it's like a little can-can, right? One leg up, and then the other. Scoop that belly in, no wobbly pelvis, all right? Last one, lower the feet, rest. I find the teaser is a little easier to find from a seated position. So we're gonna do one more variation and then we'll do the full thing, all right? Lift tall, roll back. One knee up, then the other. Now hold on the whole time. Open that chest, elbows nice and wide. Find that lift, both legs straighten. Both knees lift. lower. Both legs straighten, both knees lower. Good, you have three. We're gonna hold on the last one, right? Two, you knew it was coming. <laughs> one more. Stay there, release one arm, nothing else changes, don't fall. The other arm releases, hold, 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 lay down. Alrighty, rest for a second. So we've got a minute left together, all right? We got it. You're gonna come into that same shape, that final shape we just found from the ground. I'll tell you how. Arms reach back, big inhale. Exhale, head and ankles lift, scoop the belly. There may be some rain coming right now, as in there is some rain coming, so you'll see it, okay. Curl all the way up to teaser. The grand finale to this class. Roll down to your hundred. Hold, lie down. The weather here is a little unpredictable, which is okay. <laughs> Life is too, right? You gotta keep going through it. Keep move through, moving through the rain, moving through the storm. Lie all the way down. One more. Good, all the way up. Now stay here, just your upper body. Roll it down, roll it up. Maybe you hold on to the thighs and you just go back a few inches, that's okay. All right, one more. These are hard, so I'm not talking a lot. And it's windy. <laughs> Things are getting tough. <laughs> Roll up. Hold it at the top. Arms to the sky. Lower the legs. Lift the legs. If you're at home, 
least you don't have wind, right? I know it's hard. All the way up. Lay everything down. One more time for good luck. We got this, here we go. Arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Hold, stay three. Reach even more. Two. One, beautiful job. Lie all the way down. Hug those knees in. Let's just take a deep breath in together. Inhale. Exhale. Good, all right, rock up to a seat. Beautiful job. That was a 10 minute corporate express with me, Christy. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me here in Ireland and I'll see you guys all soon.